Honestly, yeah. this is called this is called meditation. I'm sure right now my camera guy is really pissed, but I'm at, I'm totally at ease with whatever happens. So we're doing the day in the life video. Dude, these Kino warriors, what the hell are they on? We got Colleen. She's gonna be helping me with the clothing line. I wanna use the guy that's gonna make the best line. Okay. And so these other guys that make Fruit of the Loom shirts, I don't yeah. care. And we're about to jump on whose podcast? Let's talk about Blue Chew instead, right? <laughs> <laughs> the Wolf Den, the Wolf of Wall Street podcast. We're gonna talk about fitness, marketing, it'll be cool. I get you guys, Joe, action figures talking to me. We can't put this part in. So stay tuned. So this LA trip is really important because I'm about to go on the Wolf of Wall Street podcast. In the last 10 years, building Kino Body, it's been just me. Me doing videos, me doing content, and to get to that next level, it's time to reach out to new people, to expand audiences into new sections. And so my buddy Nick told me about this Wolf of Wall Street podcast. I didn't even know he had a podcast, and I checked it out, and I dug the content. And so I decided to send him a message and send him a good offer and tell him, hey, you know what? In the last few years, I've built one of the biggest fitness brands, I've cut through the saturated market. I love your podcast and I'm happy to come on and tell you how I did that. And he said, let's do it. I decided to bring my whole camera team, so it was a big expense, but you know, my team thought it was worth it, so let's do it. So I landed in LA and the first meeting was to go see Colleen. She's my business advisor on the clothing line. Um, a year or two ago, I came up with this clothing line concept. It was all like my favorite streetwear items and you know, making it cut for the Hollywood physique so your physique pops effortlessly. And so I worked with a guy in Toronto on that and the, the samples, the clothing was just awesome, just killer. And so once we expanded and things were growing, that's when everything fell apart. So the clothing was coming out way too small. And so when I got some of these clothing and when the sizing was off, I had to just lose out on thousands and thousands of dollars. So I say you bring in the original six core items, ramp it up, and then just consistently keep it in flow. So the Henleys, short long sleeve, Raglan, short long sleeve, the pocket shirts, and then this is huge demand for it, it's the cap tee. It's, okay. it's cut right here and it makes your shoulders make sure pop. Look um, but that's like, that's basically what, what the line is, it's designed you work out, this is the perfect shirt that's gonna fit your body. When I get the samples that are perfect from Collar and I like it, I'll put in a 50 grand order, and if it works, amazing. We'll, we'll make the, like, it's gonna sell like that. I wanna use the guy that's gonna make the best line. Okay. And so these other guys that make Fruit of the Loom shirts, I don't okay. care. Step one, get the fits 100% perfect with collar. perfect. And we don't do anything until that fit is perfect. And uh, there's one more thing. It's a great thong. It's the Kino thong. It's gonna, it's gonna... <laughs> We gotta get it in there. It's they have, want like, a it. Superman logo on it or something. <laughs> they, they want it. Yo. What's up, bro? Looking good. How are you? Good. Good. Come on. This is uh, Colleen. She's helping Hi. the company. Nice to meet you. Uh, Nick, uh, the podcast. I'm going on soon. A couple hours. A couple hours. Yeah. With the wolf. Do you guys know what you're talking about? Or did you say you're in a chair? Nothing. Coming in, nothing. Clean slate. So I just got a text, Nick. Um, my brand manager, Robert, said podcast just got canceled because Jordan is sick. They want to reschedule. Call me when you get a chance. You know, if it was one thing I flew to LA by myself to hang out, but I brought my whole team. Um, my business partners were spending about 20 grand on this trip. I was like, fuck, you know, shit. Hey. Yo, Greg, what's up? Uh, uh, so, yeah, the podcast got canceled because Jordan is sick. Um, but they want to reschedule for, I think it's tomorrow. Are you oh. be there tomorrow? Yeah, I'll be here tomorrow. I just gotta move things around. Oh, that's a much bigger difference. I'm like, okay, that's easy. We're At least we're here tomorrow. It's tomorrow at 2 p.m. Uh, is the only time they can do tomorrow. So are you cool with that? Yeah, so we'll skip the, th then we'll, we'll do the 5 p.m. beach. That's perfect. The whole day was kind of structured around going to do the podcast, but um, we can just film some ads. Film some ads. Also, I can, Hit that workout a bit earlier. Let's hit a big workout. At Gold's. Or no, we'll go to um, Bradley Martin's gym now. We'll go up there, That's, we have the time. One of the biggest fitness influencers in the game, Bradley Martin, he's got like three million followers, something like that, he's massive. So we just got to Bradley Martin's gym, zoo culture, it's fucking sick. About to smash some Kino Octane, and then we're gonna go for some 130s. 
You want to do strawberry marg or orange today? I appreciate you letting us come in and yeah, fucking it's, train. It's yeah. Sick. Anytime, yeah. anytime for sure. Yeah, I appreciate uh, that, yeah. You know, I'm coming to Bradley Martin's gym. He is notorious not for just being big, but he's strong. So I was like, you know what? I got to put up some big numbers. Mikey got fired. Bradley Martin is the new <laughs> yeah, Kino yeah, yeah. photographer. <laughs> Get the first one up, then smooth sailing. Go. Thank, Thank you. you for coming. Of course, yeah, man. Of course. Thanks for showing love. Yeah. Of course. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Anytime, too. Thank you. Whenever I have a chance to really interact with um, my Kino warriors, the guys that are doing my programs, drinking my Kino Octane, whenever I have a chance to interact with them in person, I love it. And so I pick like eight people and let's challenge us in a different way. Let's go to the track. Let's hit some sprints, some full out sprints. Oh my god. Hell yeah. It's like my TV's talking to me. Good, good. It's like, it's like seeing a cartoon for the first time. <laughs> He's talking, like, like a G.I. Joe action figure is talking to me. Today's one of those days where I've just been a lot of filming. Last few years have been crazy traveling, so this is not the time to set a personal record. But that's why we got Kino Octane. So it should put a little pep in the step. Now we're gonna do the hard part, which is the 400 meter, which is known to be brutal. I did this for the first time a couple weeks ago. The last time I did a minute, uh, 62 seconds. I'm gonna try and get under a minute. If anyone gets, uh, if anyone gets a minute or less, two bottles of Octane on the house. Let's do it right now. <laughs> Three, two, one. Kilo Octane. <laughs> He's going. Pass What's the time goal? at? Oh, oh. It's at 50. What a beast! Once he, once he gets past that. Holy goal, shit! Dude, these Kino Warriors, what the hell are they on? Oh, that's right, motherfucker. Kino Octane. <laughs> Let's do it. What's the time? What's the time? 48. 48. 48. Right to the line. Right to the line. Right to the line. Right to the line. Keep going, keep going. Beast. Beast. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Beast. Ah, 54. 54. Kino Warrior. Oh my god. Kino Warrior. That's free Octane. That's free Octane. Let's go. That's easy. Killing it. Let's get it. What are we at? 57, 58, 59. Boom! Minute! Go. 52. Oh my god. Guys, you don't need a, you don't need a cardio. Just fucking Kino Octane, incline press. All right, we're here in Hamosa Beach. We're about to jump on the Wolf of Wall Street podcast. That's Jordan Bell for it. So I'm pumped. It's gonna be exciting. We're talking a lot about fitness, a lot about business, about marketing. So let's get it. That good? Now is the fun part. I'm about to go and see the Wolf of Wall Street. Not just see him, but be on his podcast. I'm so nervous. I don't even like, you know, until I'm actually there recording, I don't know if it's gonna be on or cancel, but this is exciting. Hello. Well, we're here, ready to get started. All right, awesome. Yeah. The Wolf of Wall Street is one of my favorite movies, and like this is a big deal. My heart was beating a little faster than normal, but I always find, you know, in those moments when you're most nervous, you always pull through. Nice to meet you. Hey, how are you? Good to see you, man. How are you? How's everything? Good, good, good. Well, I'm get, I'm, the reason I canceled is I'm getting divorced from my wife, so. I just kind of went through with it yesterday, started going through the motions, so it was a disaster. Really? Yeah, yeah. Wow. So you stayed with her. Yeah. You didn't know, did you? No, I didn't. No, we're getting separated, yeah. So I'm moving out today. I'm moving into the city. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yo, are you moving to Santa Monica? Or? I'm getting divorced. So okay. it just happened yesterday, though. Oh. So, like, that's why I was canceling yesterday. Oh, okay. Like, literally yesterday, just the whole thing blew up yesterday. Damn, it was a dance. I was like, that's why I didn't mean to cancel on you, but, you no, know, no, 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 literally, no. my, you know, 
Yeah, no, that's a that's a very yeah, that's, that's, that's a yeah. Yeah, it's like you know the whole thing got hit yesterday, so it's like yeah. can't do it. Well, let's get this on the on the pod. Why don't we talk? Yeah, let's yeah, get on the podcast. Yeah. Hey guys, JB in the house for the Wolf's Den. The Wolf of Wall Street in the Wolf's Den. Got a great guest tonight. He's too young though. He's fucking pissing me off. <laughs> he looks too handsome. Uh, nah, but this guy's a fitness guru, trainer, celebrity. Biggest celebrity on the making. He's like on his way up in a big way, right? So I got Greg O'Gallagher. How you doing, buddy? Good, good, man. Nice to meet you, pal. Good to finally meet you. Good looking guy, young. You got some good veins going on in your arms. I mean, I got my own bed. That fucking shit. <laughs> you got to stay lean. I know. So- what is it that makes you special? Because, yeah, you get results, right? But would you agree with me that a lot of people get results, right? Like in any industry, there's a lot of great people, but there's some people that succeed more than others. Why do you succeed? The, the reason I stand out is because in 2000, 2011, 2012, I did something different. Tell me. Um, I created what I wanted for myself. So there's so many different fitness people talking about losing weight, getting huge bodybuilding, training for like for athletics, functional training. And I came in and I said, that's not what you want. What you want is you want to look like a movie star. You want to look like Brad Pitt and Troy when he takes his shirt off. And you don't want to spend every waking minute thinking about this, eating two every two to three hours. You can't go out with your friends. You can't take a girl out on a date. We're going to do this getting strong in the gym three days per week. We're gonna put muscle on the right places. We're not gonna do that workout because we're gonna focus more on our upper chest, our shoulders. And I did something that the market wanted. What were the things that, were there certain things that your dad taught you that, that, or that you saw him just simply when you were young that, that sort yeah. of made you the man you are today? And, and, and tell me what those are. If you want something, like you can get it. It was just unbelievable, unshakable self-belief. All right, Gregor, you wanna go on the hockey team? We're gonna do it. Like. There was no no doubt in the mind, whatever it is that you want, if you're gonna work for it, you're gonna get it. And, and like work really, really hard. He just, like his mindset was like, when things are really, really bad, it just means that things are gonna get so good. Every, his favorite quote was, every adversity has a seed of an equal or greater benefit. And like make no small plans, the tattoo I have. Just go, so he just thought so big, thought really big. Anything you wanna say directly to the audience before we go? You wanna give him a quick 30, 60 seconds that you wanna which, say? Which camera? Which, Jeez, this one's right fine. here, right here. E either one, this one's fine. This one. If you guys wanna build a Hollywood body, work out three days per week, get in crazy shape, and if, you don't, if you're not on the blue chip, but you want the next best thing and you wanna get <laughs> crazy workouts, Kino Octane, it's crazy, you'll feel amazing, smooth energy, no crash. And was that, how was your, that? your body will look so good, even if your dick is this big and can't get hard, girls will, <laughs> girls will still love you. <laughs> Congratulations, you're really you're, you're an inspiring young guy, and um, and you're doing it right. My greatest hope is for my children to all do what you're doing. You know, what I'm saying you're going out there, you're putting yourself out there. You're gonna have your successes, your failures, ups and downs, but you're going for it. and You're not making any small plans. Well, buddy, my money is on you. Thanks for coming, buddy. Thank you. My pleasure. We just finished the podcast. It was awesome. Now it was really it was a great podcast. When this comes out next week, you gotta check it out. You gotta check it out. Let's go. The photos. You know what? For getting a divorce, he was pretty darn Dude. good at a podcast. Yeah. I know. <laughs> this is just the beginning, and I've been building this business since 2011, and it feels just like the beginning. And I can't wait to get back to Toronto. There's so much more to do, and. I, that is my focus. All right, so uh, there's been a little update, a little curveball. So for the last few months, I've been in negotiations with my business partners. They were the ones I was gonna partner with on this clothing line. They were gonna handle shipping, fulfillment, all the backend stuff. So I could really focus on really making this line come to life. And so I just found out that we're breaking up. Right when we're about to go into production, we're breaking up. And so literally, I gotta go to the bank, I gotta go fund this thing myself, and I gotta make sure that this thing works and get all the ducks in a row. So this is a little scary, but you know what? I'm not backing down, I'm gonna fucking make this work. And I still got David Collar, he's in my corner, he's gonna make sure that this clothing is awesome, and I'm not delaying this. December 12th, we are going, but things just got a lot more complicated. Stay tuned.